Overwatch, yeah! Overwatch is a great game. Hell, it's arguable that all Blizzard games are pretty fantastic. Uh-oh, Blizzard fanboy alert! Leading up to the release of Overwatch's newest character, I was pretty excited. Mostly because I thought it was Doomfist, much like the rest of the world. So when this thing popped out of Jeff Kaplan's ass, I was like, Whoa, that doesn't look like a Doomfist to me! I think a lot of the Doomfist hype came from the fans. I'm not even sure where it started, to be honest, but even I got swept up in it. Terry Crews seemingly had no idea that he had been chosen to play the character, so it kind of makes me wonder if Doomfist wasn't a total fabrication of the fan base to begin with. I know the character exists in the world of Overwatch, but I almost feel like the fan base strong armed Kaplan into introducing Doomfist sooner than they initially planned. Which makes me feel like Arissa was just thrown out to all of us to stall for time or something. Maybe it's just me, but she doesn't feel like a fleshed out character the way the others do. Orissa just reminds me of one of those weird alien things from Doctor Who mixed with a mango. On top of that, she doesn't seem to have much of a personality either. I mean, the voice is kind of funky. Look at Bastion. He doesn't even speak, but with his subtle beeps and boops, he can convey how he feels. It's like R2-D2. You may not know what the whistles and shit mean, but you know exactly how he feels. It's it's honestly more effective that way. Could you imagine if C-3PO was like, Hey R2, where's Master Luke? And R2 was like, He's in the shitter! On top of not having a distinct personality, Orissa's abilities aren't even unique in their own right. I mean, her main gun is essentially a more powerful version of Soldier 76's. Her shield is like half of Winston's. The weird green pole thingy is relatable to Zarya's ultimate, and Orissa's own alt is just Mercy's blue buff beam and a bongo drum. So instead of being a brand new character, Orissa just feels more or less like she's not bringing anything new to the table. It feels like a rehashing of already existing characters. Orissa is like the Inspector Gadget of Overwatch right now. But hey, maybe it's just the new kid on the block syndrome. Overwatch, you know, or sorry, Arissa hasn't really had enough time to prove herself as an asset to the Overwatch cast yet. There are a bunch of characters I didn't like when I first started playing, and now I absolutely love them. I mean, like Winston, when I first started playing, I hated Winston. I thought he was super lame, I thought he was weak. I didn't understand his whole jump, pound, ground, ground, pound thing. I thought it was kind of stupid, like it didn't even do any damage, it seemed. And, uh, but now I love him. He's like my most played character. I, abs- I absolutely love, I main him, as the cool kids say. I'm a, I'm a Winston main. All in all, Orissa is pretty cool, and, and I doubt I could come up with something better, to be honest. But Jeff Kaplan, the next character better be Doomfist. I don't want Doomfist to become the next Half-Life 3. That's right, Gaben, I'm looking at you.